is where it all begins. The leap of faith. The first step to the journey. Towards the unknown. The challenging. The daunting. But when we're together. Hand in hand. The journey becomes... We're partners, you and I, together, facing your fears, pursuing your passion, breaking boundaries, building your future, overcoming challenges, celebrating every achievement. When we're together, we're unstoppable. When we're together, anything is possible. At BTN, we know the power of partnership. A good partner works with you intimately. A good partner knows what you need. A good partner always has your back. A partner for starting your dream family, building your dream home, realizing the dream. It takes courage to begin, but it takes encouragement to keep on going. So go on, dream big. We're with you every step of the way. You have a partner in BTN. Failed multiple times to win. Definitely isn't something that easy to accept. But the regret and sadness aren't the choices. Don't focus on the failure, but focus on the purpose. Do your best. The real knights are those who get up and work hard. Unite the spirit, unite our heart to reach our dreams. Always remember, result never betray the process. All night, let's rise and fight for Indonesia. Facilitator, 
He switched to a power forward the other day against Bukau. I thought the ball played at point guard. Shepard drives, yes! Dragons on the scoreboard. Early can CLS hit back as they usually do. It's a great array of talent, CLS. Doug Herring Jr., their point guard. Esho posting up. Sorry, that's not Esho. Check that. That's Watkins. Drives, yes, good move there by Doug Herring Jr. That's what I said. Her Herring is very dangerous. The Dragons need to stop his penetration. Just not an easy two points. Although early on, Shepard able to get two points for the Dragons. Turn around jumper, hits the iron. Both teams not so aggressive in terms of rebounding. Way long, bounce pass. Watkins, good hustle there by the Dragons, but Watkins, big, hits the iron. Good hustle there by the Dragons. Here comes Winston Shepard. Got almost a travel right there. What about the pull up? Egwu, Egwu, soft touch, and in it goes. Well done, Nana Egwu. Finally, we need that early start from Egwu. We need him to perform, to play good games, so that in order for the Dragons to have a chance to win in this game. And good start here by the Dragons. They're hustling hard, both ends of the floor. Everest Lee, bit, bit short. Watkins with the easy rebound. Way long. Run up the tempo a little bit here, CLS. Esho on the baseline. Is that a travel or does that count? That's going to be count. Got the, got Shooting the in motion, so two points for Esho and then one opportunity. A good reading here by Esho. Realize that. There's a little bit of space, even though Shepard and Nana Egg were waiting there to help, but it's just too late for them. So, Maxi Esho breaks that by pairing with the quick rebound. Well done, Doug Herring. Watkins double team, yes! Good turnover by the Dragons. Gotta protect the ball, hang on to the ball. Shepard to the corner. Yek thought about it. Egwu for the three. Nana Egwu from downtown. Just as we were telling him, telling our audience that he needs to step up tonight. He's making some big shots, doing some big plays. Yeah, Nana Egwu definitely, we need, I mean the Dragons need for him to be consistent offensively and the Dragons defense has been good so far. Esho there, honorable good defense by Chris Eversley. Opportunity for the Dragons now. Yeah, he had a good game against Macau. Oh, turnover by Eversley. Herring, they've got numbers. Can he punish? alley -oop? No! Tried to be too tricky with that. He was trying to lob it to Esho, Doug Herring Jr. And Coach Bryan still happy with a positive energy by the CLS Knights. They trail by three, the Knights. Shepard. Egwu tried to set the screen. Shepard thought about the step back. Yeah, look, Egwu looking for pick and roll action. Oh, and one. And the Dragons are connecting and scoring at the moment, right here at Marbar Stadium. A good pass from Shepard, realizing the hard defense from Asia and able to read the defense. Nana Egwu was open. He's going to add maybe his eight points. He already got seven points. Nana Egu in this first quarter. Converts the three-point play. Nana Egu, the man who told me he played very, very recreational baseball and American football when growing up, but nothing serious. Basketball is his love. So thank you, Nana Egu, for selecting basketball and joining the West Coast Malaysian Dragons in the ASEAN Basketball League. Herring asking they should have cut. What a three, it's the iron. Well done, Egwu, he's doing everything at the moment. Shepard, Shepard thought, well, he went for the shot. Jawato, he's a bit of a slow starter at times. Esho, another turnover by CLS. 
Shepard. Oh, good steal there by Doug Herring Jr. Esho. Esho with the runner, yes. Maxi Esho. And that's back off some very good defense by Doug Herring Jr. Back to back, good defense. First from the Dragons by Winston Shepard, and then the Herring with a good defense. Able to force that turnover by Shepard. 10-6 the scores now. Ching Cheng Wa. The Dragons locals need to step up and get some production. If the Dragons have any chance to win this game, stand any chance, should I say, to win this game. No Jonathan Wong still, which is interesting. Ben Sim not playing today. Esho for the three. Yes! Maxi Esho makes this a one-point ball game. Yeah, the Dragons cannot sleep on the defense. They've been playing good defense for the first five minutes and then a little bit of sleep there as the Indonesia able to chase off. And then another good layoff by Shepard there. Winston Shepard, he loves driving to the cup. He loves attacking the basket. Wong Wei Long. Watkins tried to set the screen. Wei Long, turnover. Now, CLS need to look at their turnover stats. How, why are they not protecting the ball? They do. Egwu thought about the three. Yek bounce pass to Eversley. Yek cutting in. Eversley kicks out. Egwu for the three. Nana Egwu with another three in this quarter. That is Nana Egwu's second three pointers. 11 points for Nana Egwu in this first quarter. at times tonight everyone that we are having a little bit of technical sound difficulty we are addressing that at the moment and we do apologize about the game clock not being well not running at the moment so we are fixing a few errors right here at Marbar Stadium and we do apologize but the basketball has been good that's the positive part not so much for the CLS Knights. They've turned the ball over a few times today. Mislan, what's going on with the Indonesia team? That is the fourth turnover by the CLS Knights. I think good defense shown so far by the Dragons. Egu, it's the team. Eversley with the rebound, posting up. I'll try to cut. Yeah. Dragons doing all the right things, but it just can't finish. Esho, here he comes, the big man, Wei Long. The not so big man, but the very smart man, basketball wise and academic wise. Swing, pull up, Jawato. Now, Jonathan Wong on court for the Dragons. One of their best local players, in my opinion. Good cut there by Eversley, drives, Eversley, yes! With the finish, beating the bigger, Maxi Esho. A great offensive game, great ball movement shown so far by the Dragons. They are leading by eight points right now. We have about three minutes left in this first quarter. Did you say three minutes? Yeah, three minutes, man. Okay, you're counting, well done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to make sense of everything at the moment with the clock not running but Dragons moving it around trying to get the open look trying to get good, good cuts Eversley pull up right here Tanway Long in and out Eversley back tap Shepard tried to go for the tip in the hustle oh well that's this is really good hustle by the Dragons <laughs> Unfortunate for Chris Eversley got caught up a little bit with his aggressive defense. Wanted to pressure Maxi A show a little bit too aggressive there. Got called by the referee. That is second fall. And Eversley is going to the bench, being subbed now. Well, Whenever these moments happen, the imports of the respective teams are in foul trouble. It's a really good opportunity and audition sometimes for the local players to really get some minutes and step up and show the coach, their respective coaches, what they can do. You know what? 
Nobody wants to be on the bench. Everybody wants to play. But the coach can only select five players. Esho. Shawato. Defense. Good pressure D by the Dragons. They're going to need to keep it up. Esho. Shepard. Don't forget the Dragons beat Alap Filipinas in January. With only, playing only two imports. Winston Shepard was injured. Jonathan Wong, high arcing shot, yes! Jonathan Wong! That's what he can do. Dragons need to keep the defense going. Ojawato, offensive foul. And I thought that was a blocking foul. Good defense <laughs> by the Dragons, forcing every, I mean, the Indonesia, they just can't Run the play right now. The offense is just terrible right now. I see. Well, like I always say, Ms. Lan, I'm no expert, but keep your feet on the ground, keep your hands up, <laughs> and the referee can't criticize you anymore. You're doing the right. Shepard. Shepard drives again. Oh, good. Again, uh -huh. you got you got to admire yes. the Dragons with their hustle tonight. Yes, that's what you want to see if you're Dragon fans. You see, trying to get an offensive rebound. Even though got called with the referee that I think Winston Shepard first personal fall. Third team fall for the Dragons. Very smart move by Doug Herring to stop the clock, but now the clock is going. Can't give him an open look, got to stay with him. He's a quick athlete. Putting down one, hands off to Herring. Jawato. Jawato drives. Good defense by the Dragons. Got to be careful. Shepard. John Wong thought about the shot. Egu open for the three. Couldn't hit that one. Would have given the Dragons a bit more comfort. Herring. Didn't look like intentional contact. Right there, that's Ferman Dui Nagroho, the big man. 16. I think that's sec uh, Shepard's second personal fall. Ooh, I'm the, not mistaken. The Dragons imports are in foul trouble, if you're correct. Yes, that is his second foul. Two of the three Dragons imports are in foul trouble. The only big guy that coach Jamie Perlman can call on is Chan Kek Tai, number 23. Call the one. Dragons got to weather the storm a bit. Step up for the runner. Yeah, <laughs> what a move by Jonathan Wong. Step up to the hour, young man. Yeah, what a driving by Jonathan Wong. What a good body contact, able to control and able to make that shot. And then that, I think, is as Dragons collect another fall. That's the fifth team fall, so two free throws for Maxi Esho. Well, Maxi Esho. I just heard tonight that Maxi Esho is good friends with Mike Holyfield, the import from the Hong Kong Eastern Long Lions, who was a big contributor to the Eastern Long Lions defeating Ala Filipinas last night. And he was standing as a fill in. For Udarian Bassett. Esho was friends with Hollyfield when they played in the D League together. And he's such a great talent. Maxi Esho played for the Saigon Heat last season. He played at center. This season he's more of a three and four for the CLS team. So the Dragons only playing with one import. But they're up. CLS tightening up. Oh. There's a turnover from Way Long. Unable to find his teammate. So if the Dragons can just hold on until the end of the first quarter, which is only about over 10 seconds away, then it'll be a moral, moral boost for them. Because don't forget, they are on a losing streak at the moment. Herring, got to stay with him. He's quick, he's dynamic. Can he finish? Yes! And one! And he knows it too! <laughs> it looks to kill. <laughs> Harry face. That was a game face for him. He knows that he needs to leave the Knights from the deficit, able to get the two points. Where was the defense of the Dragons? See, 
Igwu wasn't able to rotate. And then an easy two-point shot by Douglas Herring. A 77 percentage of free throw shooter. 75, as I was corrected by Kelvin Lim. Our in-house <laughs> stats man. Well done, Kelvin Lim. And Doug Herring has got two children, Destiny and Desmond. He sends his big, a lot of love to his two children and his family back home. What a long shot. Ooh, put it to a Mike McKinney. <laughs> and Mike McKinney was referring to, he hit a, he loved a big shot from almost the half court to make that long. Yeah. Six points at the moment. Winston Shepard with four points. Jonathan Wong with five. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Traveling kini tak perlu repot tukar uang ke money changer. Uang saku kuliah kamu di luar negeri tak lagi terpotong ini itu. Kamu bisa mulai tabungan kamu tanpa khawatir kurs naik turun. Dan dengan kurs kompetitif, bisnis kamu akan selalu mendapat nilai tukar terbaik. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Fit me, makan mi, jangan mikir. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Uang saku kuliah kamu di luar negeri tak lagi terpotong ini itu. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi, tanpa drama. Now in the first quarter, he has been very the key. Only three rebounds for Egu, but his presence was able to slow down the CLS Nice Indonesia offense. Kurniawan, a veteran of Indonesia basketball. Utomo, good defense, oh well done, good hustle by Tan Wei Long. And Chris Evans, they slapped Tan Wei Long on the back and said, good job. That's the team spirit at the Dragons, within the Dragons at the moment. Still, the Dragons only playing with one American import, and that is Nana Egu. Egu with the ball. Ching Cheng Hua. Ching Cheng Hua. Wei Long. Hits the tin. Good effort there by Zishin. For now one open. Oh, that's a good shot. Deadly. Sandy Kurniawan. He knows how to shoot at Mabah Stadium. He's the reason why Indonesia defeated Thailand in the SEA Games in Kuala Lumpur two years ago to make the final against the Philippines. Kobe Parasas, Philippines, and Jimmy Alapak was the assistant coach of that team. And the ball goes almost to the commentator's box. Sandy Kurniawan, what a player, what a talent. And a good guy as well, Sandy Kurniawan. Very polite guy, very respectful as well. Really have a lot of time for Sandy, he's a good man. The Korean one, one of the Indonesian national player. Jonathan Wong, he needs to be careful offensively. He cannot throw all those very wild passes as his teammate may, might not be able to catch the ball. But the ball is still in the Dragon's possession with five seconds left on the shot clock. Little pitch. Yeah, gotta put it up now, Wong. And that will be CLS ball. Here's Febri Utomo. And game has gone on, got a little bit flat here at the moment. We do apologize once again for the game clock not being shown on television, but we will, well, voice you through it. 
It's, there's eight minutes and 47 seconds left on the game clock for this half, or for this second quarter. And 18 seconds left on the shot clock. Utomo to inbound. Herring. He's been a live wire. Dragon's got a body up on him. Moving it around well. Oh, that spoke too soon. Turnover, a bit too quick. Herring with another turnover. Very surprising for him to play. Oh, good defense there shown by Watkins. Well, he's the bigger man. He's seven foot. Very, very, he's got long arms, great long wingspan. You got to be careful when he's guarding you. If you just get in there, he's really, really a powerhouse. Big guy, nice guy as well. Inbound right now. Egu's got to be careful of Watkins. Wong tried to grab his own miss but couldn't. Dragons need to hustle back at but they're a bit slow in transition, the Dragons. And now one thought about another big three. Herring with a long three. Oh, that was very, very courageous by Jonathan Wong. There was a big mismatch right there. He's only about six foot. Let's have a look at this. A good box out there by Watkins. Able to get that offensive rebound. Good fall, actually, by the Dragons. Not giving Watkins an easy point. Watkins needs to earn his points from the free throw lines. Well, Daryl Watkins, the man from Patterson, New Jersey. 68% from the charity stripe. He sends his love to his three children. His son, Nail, His two daughters, Tian and Lie. So daddy sends his love today on the 14th of February to his family back in the States. He said family is everything for this great talent right here. And it's very, very close right now. The first quarter well, pretty much belonged to the Dragons. And now it's tied. CLS on an 8 and old run at the moment. Dragons, don't forget, playing without their two imports because both their imports are in foul trouble. Now the Dragons, Mislan, are being tested here at the moment, physically and mentally. Yeah, that's what I said early on, Ben. Consistency, you said it first, but I echo it on the offensive end and also on the defensive end. Offensively, the Dragons cannot throw the ball away. Jonathan Wong in the previous possession, two wild passes, and then defensively, a little bit um, not focused enough for the Dragons. Dragons just got to tighten up on defense. Now Winston Shepard back on court. Turnover right there. The presence of Winston Shepard. Is it, will it be the difference right now? We'll soon find out. Zishin posting up. Zishin. Jonathan Wong hustling out there. The no look pass by Winston Shepard. Gotta watch the clock. Dragons trying everything to score, and they're hustling good, but they need to get back. Herring, can he punish? Doug Herring for the runner. Oh, look at this basketball being played <laughs> by both teams at the moment. Hustle, bustle, let's try to score. But it's a struggle at the moment, but the basketball is entertaining. Yeah, that's a great basketball shown by both teams. Defensively, they'll be in a lot of trouble. Shepard. Down low earlier. Still no Chris Eversley. Shepard. Shepard drives. And that was a smart move by Shepard. He knew that if he just drove to the cup, there'll be hands going everywhere. And he knows that the referees will potentially blow the whistle, which they did. Yeah, that is his thing. He needs to drive more offer to the basket. But he needs to be able to control his basket. I mean, not turning the ball over. Sometimes he's a little bit too careful. Callous with the ball, made a turnover, and then hopefully Shepard can close the 8 0 run by the CLS Knights. Winston Shepard, 57% from the free throw line. He's played basketball in Israel. Don't forget, he's still a very young man, 25 years of age, 6 foot 8. And this is his 
third year playing as a professional basketball pro. Bricks that shot. The Dragons up by two by one basket. Long way long, a little bit quiet today. Jawato, yes, knocks it down from the corner. Brandon Jawato. You cannot leave the CLS match players out open on the short corner and then that is the first league for the CLS Knights Indonesia 24 to 23. Shepard almost. Just pull up and shoot. And that is a very, very good call by the referee. Winston Shepard shouldn't complain. And the Knights up by one. First time they lead today. A lot of basketball to be played with over six minutes to go. Way long. Can't give them an open, much separation. Open look. Esho. 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 Oh, what a move by Messi Esho. Bit of hang time right there. And puts it up and scores. This is good stuff. There's a good run here by CLS. Crossover by Shepard. Got to watch his footwork. Jin Cheng Hua. Jinchengwa banks it in. Jinchengwa, the bank is open. The Indonesia bench doing a, da a, a dance, a travel dance. <laughs> that, that was a legit uh, move by the Jinchengwa. That was the first field goal made by the Dragons. Only three points scored by the Dragons so far. Five minutes, 25 seconds left in this second quarter. The Dragons are struggling in the second quarter to score, man. Well, against CLS, early in the season when the Dragons lost, and Wong Wei Long was the player of the game. That game was actually on the first day of Fe February, on Fe Federal Territory Day here in Malaysia. Friday the 1st of Feb, Wei Long had, was the best player of the game with 20 points. It was the defense on CLS. It's great defense that they played that game. It's not, can't take that away from them. Skip pass. Way long for the long three. Air ball. Wong. The trickster. Wong. Likes to do those kind of moves. To the corner. Pull up. To Cheng Wa. He had held everybody's breath here. Chin Cheng Wa with that pull up. They sure thought about the three. A oh, great cut by Esho, but great read by the Dragons. Here comes Eversley, Chin Cheng Hua. He got stuck in traffic. Good movement here by the Dragons, but they need a basket. Chin Cheng Hua, deflection. Chris Eversley, open for the three. Chris Eversley gets the shot. <laughs> Chris Eversley with a wide open shot. And we have a storm of the game right now as the Indonesia CLS Knights calling the timeout. Good ball movement by the Dragons. Smart move by Cheng Wong not to force the shot. Trying to find a. So, about to start the game right now. Pairing. The last time these two teams played on the 1st of February. CLS had a strong finish in the second quarter. Can they do the same again or with the Dragons? With a strong finisher in this quarter this time. Esho. Esho step back. It's the tin. Good rebound, Jonathan Wong. He's such a, a great aggressive competitor. Chin Cheng Hua. Not as confident as yet, but he's developing quite nicely. Wong. Good defense by Jawato. Jawato. Brandon Jawato, the man who went to the University of Hawaii. But it is. Dragon's ball. Yeah, Jawato aggressive defense, not giving Egwin an open shot. Realize that Egwin has been hot, especially from top of the key. Winston Shepard. Winston Shepard. Big shot. Egwin there, but Jawato. Nope. Egwin got it back. Chin Cheng Wah pulls up. Chin Cheng Wah! You know what they say about Malaysia? Wah! In Malaysia, Wah! Means great, and he is very much echoing that. <laughs> what a shot by Cheng Wa! An 8 0 run by the Dragons as they struggle early on in this second quarter, but able to 
find their move, their groove offensively. Taking the lead with five points lead right now. Three minutes and a half left in the second quarter. And Esho narrows that gap, just as you were saying the Dragons were a bit more comfortable once the Purge of his last. <laughs> Who drew the foul right there? I mean, you know, Asho can score from anywhere. He can score from the three-point shot, from mid-range, and also from Leo. Asho is very dangerous offensively. Mislan, check this out. Is Chin Cheng Hua on his fourth foul? Or third foul? I, I think it's, it's his third personal foul, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. This is third foul. Okay, it looked like four from a distance on the scoreboard right there. <laughs> that was a bit of a worry. I mean, if you're a Dragons fan and we want this to be close, of course. So, Garcia show well done. Good defense by CLS. Eversley from the baseline. It's good shot by Chris Eversley. He's been playing well in the month of February. He was the Dragons' best player of the game when they lost to Macau the other day. Esho, got to stay with him, can't give him an open look. He can punish you, tap, Herring Jr., quick and dynamic. Dragon's trying to make him move his feet. Jawato! Bodies flying everywhere, and Winston Shepard's got the ball. Here come the Dragons, what can they set up? Jonathan Wong asking for the ball, pulls up right here. Yes, Jonathan Wong from downtown. He's bringing up the gun. Tonight, the shooting guns. Back to back three point shot made by the Dragons. That was the Dragons' sixth three point shot made so far in this first half. Dragons playing well, but they need to keep it going. A good footwork by Herring. Herring, Douglas, Herring splits. The Dragons D. Oh, Herring giving a warning. Delay of game, touching the ball after being scored. So he got a warning next time. He's trying to delay the game. He's going to get a technical foul. But don't forget, these, as we say in Malaysia, don't pray, pray. <laughs> these referees, they've, eject, they've ejected a few players this season, yeah? They do not take any nonsense. Egg, we thought about the three. Eversley from the wing. Chris oh. Eversley lining up from three-point land. He loves hitting those strays. Eversley feeling it. From all over the floor, his third straight field goal made, and CLS Knights struggling with the shots now. How many field goal missed for the CLS Knights? That was a long pass there by the Dragons. More like a quarterback pass, but gotta be careful to not get carried away. This is a good lead by the Dragons with over 90 seconds to go in the second quarter. It all starts with defense, Miss Lan. Yeah, definitely for the Dragons, they've been playing very good defense. But they need to be consistent as what I said, you cannot leave Brandon Jawato open on that 45. Three-point shot made by Jawato, only five points. The difference now between the Dragons and Chela's Knights. Shepard, Shepard, he will try good defense. And that came off Nana Egu. And Winston Shepard's got to be a bit smarter when he drives because he had the two tall towers there, Watkins and Eshel, right in front of him. And he need, look at this. Yeah, you know, Eshel and Watkins, they know that uh, Shepard did. He loves to drive, so Watkins straight away, leaving his man ever there and ever to close Shepard. The Dragons' defense non existent right there. <laughs> as Herring drove to the cup with ease. Three-point ball game. Dragons giving away some simple baskets. Shepard again drives. He tried to bank it in and go for the hoop and the harm. Ooh, Winston Shepard, is he injured? That's the last thing the Dragons need. The Dragons are already carrying some injuries. Ben Sim injured, as well as Yada, the star point guard. Sun Yada gains. Jamie Pullman really needs a win tonight. A man under tremendous amounts of pressure. You see, Shepard, whenever he drives, there's all the eyes of the defender of the CLS Knight on him. There are four defenders trying to stop Western Shepard from scoring. Western Shepard 
68, 58% free throw shooters is going to take two free throws. Winston Shepard and Maxi Esho having a bit of trash talk. And the referee is not happy at the moment. Maxi Esho and Winston Shepard really going at it. Ooh, be careful. Young man, button up and shoot because the referees don't see something they don't like or they don't, they don't like hearing. They will pull you out on it. Two out of two for Winston Shepard. Now everybody's getting in the trash talk. Brendan Jawato and Chris Eversley are chipping away at it. <laughs> this is what we love to see from an entertainment value. Herring pulls up right there. It's the iron. Good job, Winston Shepard. Runway launch was open. Jonathan Wong wants the ball. Jonathan Wong thought about the long three. He's got time. Don't rush it, says Chris Eversley. Eversley. Wong, catch and shoot. Hits the iron. Wouldn't beat him. Drives. And that's a good finish there by Wong Wei Long. A bad transition defense there by the Dragons, leaving Wei Long off point. Shepard it. Oh, tried to bank it. Hits the backboard, but no basket. It's been a very, very inconsistent performance by both teams. And the Dragons lead 41 points to 38. We're just going to go for our first break of this game. But when we come back, second half of the game between the West Coast Malaysia Dragons and the CLS Knights of Indonesia, right here on RTM, you're watching the ASEAN Basketball League. This is where it all begins. We're partners, you and I. When we're together, we're unstoppable. When we're together, anything is possible. At BTN, we know the power of partnership. A good partner works with you intimately. A good partner knows what you need. A good partner always has your back. A partner for starting your dream family, building your dream home, realizing the dream. It takes courage to begin, but it takes encouragement to keep on going. So go on, dream big. We're with you every step of the way. You have a partner in BTN. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Traveling kini tak perlu repot tukar uang ke money changer. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi, tanpa drama. Fit me, makan mi, jangan mikir. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Kamu bisa mulai tabungan kamu tanpa khawatir kurs naik turun. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi, tanpa drama. Fitni, makan mi, jangan mikir. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. 
Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas. Sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Dengan kurs kompetitif, bisnis kamu akan selalu mendapat nilai tukar terbaik. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi, tanpa drama. This is where it all begins. We're partners, you and I. When we're together, we're unstoppable. When we're together, anything is possible. At BTN, we know the power of partnership. A good partner works with you intimately. A good partner knows what you need. A good partner always has your back. The partner for starting your dream family, building your dream home, realizing the dream. It takes courage to begin, but it takes encouragement to keep on going. So go on, dream big. We're with you every step of the way. You have a partner in BTN. These are because the dragons, they need to keep it close. They don't want to get uh, too far behind. And they have been playing very well, especially on the defensive end. But you cannot sleep on CLS Nuts in the nature. They are very, very potent, especially on the offensive end. Dragons, a few of their players in foul trouble. Pull up now, fake. Hesitant to take the shot. And when you're hesitant, one way long. Can he punish the Dragons? Joato, good block there by the Dragons. Here they come in transition. Eversley from downtown. It's the iron. Shot didn't go in. What great defense by both teams. Esho. Esho lost the ball. Oh, referee called it. And Winston Shepard just seeing the humorous side of it. Nana Engu telling the Dragons, come in and let's have a chance. Yeah, that's Chin Wok, fourth personal fall. And he's going to take a seat on the bench as Jonathan Wong coming in, replacing him. Chin Wok has been playing good so far for Dragons on both ends, but that's too unfortunate for him. Fourth personal fall. And coach of the See, last night I thought that was two shots. I thought that was two shots as well, Coach Brian. Watkins open. Puts the iron. Shepard with the rebound. Eversley. Here come the Dragons. Trying to up the tempo. Just take the shot. That's it. <laughs> and that's how. When you take the shot, this sh doesn't matter. Just take the shot. Yang has been playing so well for the Dragons as the new local player. And then a quick two points answer by Wei Long. Don't forget there's two Wei Longs. One for the Dragons, Tan Wei Long, and Wong Wei Long for Singapore. Eversley. Eversley. Oh, good hustle, but good attempt. Oh, it's good. The two Wei Longs are on it. No, no, no. Check that. It was Yek who was trying to chase down Wei Long. Wong Wei Long. And 44-40 at the moment. Not even two minutes played. Holding foul. And that right here. Oh, there's a holding by Waylong. Complained by Jamie Pillman. Waylong was holding Yak with his left hand, but able to draw that ball by the referee. That was a better move by Wong Waylong. Well, he is very experienced, 30 years of age. Esho, Esho, step back. Eversley with the rebound. Shepard. Egu posting up. Egu with a soft touch. Yes! Nana Egu having a great game for the Dragons. He's Egu. really stepped up today. Contributing another two points. Total 13 points. His first point since the first quarter. The tip in by CLS. And it's a bit of a seesaw battle here at the moment. Both teams going hammer and tong. But who can play the smarter basketball? Yek. Hit a big shot earlier. Shepard in traffic. Shepard. Egg and one! 
It doesn't count, man. Three seconds violation. Shepard way too long in the paint as he made a pass. A good call by the ref. Shepard was too long, too much dribbling, too much cooking inside the paint. Well, get on with the job. That's <laughs> what they say. Move on, move on. Way long. Way long. Here's Jonathan Wong, his ex-teammate. Jonathan Wong was teammates with Wong Wei Long. Pull up right here. Yes, deadly by Winston Shepard. A smart move by Shepard, knowing that he's not a threat from the three-point line. Able to take that mid-range jumper. I think that is third field goal for Winston Shepard. This is good defense by the Dragons. Got to protect, got to... Really, really connect. Egu, Esho. Shepard, gotta watch that shot clock drives for Winston Shepard. And he's feeling it right here at Mama Stadium. Then a time up call by CLS. Nice in the nature. Shepard taking all the way to the cup by himself. And the Dragons are leading with 8 points, 50 to 42. Shepard right now collecting the double-double, 11 points and 11 rebounds. Well, Yek Liang Chuan, number 26, improving all the time against Doug Herring Jr., Wong Wei Long, Brendan Jawato, Maxi Esho, and Daryl Watkins of the CLS Knights. Jawato has been quiet today, Wei Long. Moving it around, trying to get that open look. It up. Oh, good shot there. The triple by Wong Way Long to make this a five point ball game. Like you said, Mislan, don't give CLS open looks. They're, they've got the weapons to punish you. Yegu to the corner. Yeg. Yeg! He's having arguably his best game of the season, even though it's early days yet. Back to an eight point lead for the Dragons. Yeg, second three point shot as he was able to answer one way long first three-point shot. Way long. Ooh, a bad call there by Yak. An easy two-point shot. An opportunity for Derry White for three-point play. Darren Watkins for the potential three-point play coming up. Did you say Barry White? <laughs> I said Daryl. Okay, I, don't know. I heard a Barry White there. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not a goal standing in FIBA. Ooh, that's not a goal standing. But if you play that like that in the NBA, they're going to count two points. Or maybe one point because you're so. Jonathan Wong still can't get, get over that Barry White call, but it's okay. Rolling back to his in Mooktown. Ooh, good defense by Wei Long. Jonathan Wong with a floating from the baseline. A bit too much on that. A bit too much. Esho now just slowing it down a little bit. Dragon's gotta get back. Man up and body up. Watkins with the screen separation there. Way long. Jawato open. Ego with the rebound. Jonathan Wong. No look pass to Eversley. Wong, he loves those no look passes. Eversley. Ooh. Eversley drove, he thought he had a bit of contact there, but he looked back at it and said in hindsight, no, it's a good call by the ref. Oh, he just slipped the ball out of his hands. He wanted to pass to Yek, who was open on the other side of the court. Oh, good block there by Egg, good defense by the Dragons. Four on two situation. Well, in my opinion there, Winston Shepard just drove, should have just <laughs> drive. He's, he's got the height. He's got, he's, you know what, just go. I mean, he's six foot eight. Brandon Jawada is six foot four. I mean, mismatch right there. But that was the right basketball play by Shepard. He was a four on two situation. He knows that his teammate was open. Jonathan Wong, a 50% free throw shooter. Surprisingly, only 50%. Well, he's surprising Jonathan Wong <laughs> I must say 
You, he's, a, he's a great shooter. He can hit it from downtown. <laughs> but sometimes from the charity strike, he can't. I mean, some players must be saying, what is this guy? But You know, Jonathan Wong, whenever he took that, as he made his second title, whenever he took that long three-point shot from the Stanford Curry distance, I was about to shake my head. But then, you know, it's a Stanford Curry fact. <laughs> well, what's the play that brings out the Stephen Curry moments? Here comes Shepard. Eversley tries, yes! And he doesn't throw the foul. Coach Jamie Coleman said, get back. This is a big lead here by the Dragons. The biggest lead of the game for the home team. They can't get complacent way long. Kick out, Herring, good throw the pass. Good basket there by... That's oh, technical. <laughs> what I told you, Ben, the warning and then the technical straight away. Is it a, oh, to the, I'm not sure with the... Watkins technical, I thought it was to the coach, to be honest. Yeah, that's a correct call by the referee. Watkins has been won a few times, I guess. Delaying of the game, you cannot touch the ball after you score. It's a delay of game. This is not the NBA, fella. Chris Eversley. He's in a bit of foul trouble at the moment, but he's weathered the storm. 12 points at the moment for the young veteran, the specialist skills coach for the West Force Malaysia Dragons. If you go to Instagram, you can see it from time to time, the Dragons advertising his services. You want to say something, Ms. Lan? Yeah, new FIBA rule if you collect either two technical fall or one technical and one a sportsman-like fall, you're going to get disqualified. So what is need to be careful not to take another technical or unsportsmanship like fall or he'll be ejected from the yes, game yes we saw that with we had the in the wolf warriors game who was it <laughs> i can't i can't remember number but eight it number, number it eight it yeah happened. can't remember exactly but mike taylor yeah mike taylor he pick up one technical fall and then another piece. That would have been interesting. Eversley Good gets defense. the ball. And suddenly, Mizlan, the Dragons are more are playing more consistent defense, which is good. Surprising good defense by Chris Eversley. Able to steal the ball, the passes, as I think the referee is trying to stop the game to correct the shot clock, whether it's 14 seconds or 24 seconds. Because clearly, CLS Knight has the possession. And it's uh, 24 seconds. They're not going to reset the shot clock. The audience can't see, but the shot clock is on 20 seconds as we have about four minutes left in this third quarter. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of basketball to be played. <laughs> and it's been, a, it's been a tight game. Turnovers has been a challenge for CLS in the first half. Dragons, the inconsistency of defense. Yek. Yek! Ooh, uh, that would have given him a confidence lift. Way long, way long, can he punish here? Herring kicks out. Jawako! It's the tin. That ball looked like it came off Eversley, to be fair. No, Maxi Escho was saying, come on, it came off. To be fair, Maxi Escho looked like it had a case, in my opinion, in real time. I can't see. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's that's a, a safe view. answer. Maybe, I can't maybe. see. <laughs> You're the analyst, man. <laughs> maybe you have a better view than me, man. <laughs> we both have the same view. <laughs> I'm teasing you. You know, it's hard to catch those in real time. So The safe answer is always go with the referee's oh, call. Oh, <laughs> yes, I knew you would say that. <laughs> oh, God. Mislan. You would make a great basketball consultant one day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. You're welcome. Oh, almost a turnover there. Oh, oh out of bounds because... That's a turnover. You Winston, call it, man. That, well, <laughs> Nana Egu did not expect the pass there from Winston Shepard. You know, when, I mean, I wouldn't expect... Well, when Winston Shepard's got the ball in the paint, you'd think he would actually drive or take the shot. Dragon's ninth turnover. Got to tighten that up, got to fix that. Notice that the CLS Knights like to stop the clock when they're trailing. They want to go to Herring. Pretty good game. Herring. Good move. 
Tried to go for the runner. Watkins with the foot back. Well done. Daryl Watkins. So hard to stop. Got to box him up better. Yeah, good defense by Chris Eversley. Nana Egg would need to do better job. Boxing up. Daryl Watkins. Daryl Watkins has been crashing the box for the Seattle night. Giving a second chance opportunity for them. Oh, that's a family call. An easy call by the referee. As you said, Ben, Nana Egu wasn't ready for the pass. It was a good pass, actually, by Shepard. But Nana Egu just couldn't hand the basketball and travel. That's 10 turnover for the Dragons. Say again? 10. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Joato. Screen by Watkins. Joato. Oh! The putback jam by Daryl Watkins. What a putback by Daryl Watkins dominating the basketball, the ball offensively as Nana Egu trying to have the defense of the Dragons. The Dragons now, like I said, can't get complacent. Shepard playing the one. Oh, he slipped. Travel call. And momentum now with the CLS Knights. That's I agree. I mean, I can agree with that traveling call. The slippery slope by the Winston Shepherd, but the momentum here as the Dragons turn, straight turn over. I'm not sure whether it's supposed to be a, a travel or not. It's a turnover, nevertheless. Well, this is like I said, both teams have been very inconsistent today. Hearing, air show. Can't give him an open look. Darren Watkins playing with aggression. He's a, got an impressive CV. Darren Watkins, he played for Ohio Energy in the NBA D League in 2008, almost 11 years ago. Don't forget, he played in the NBA with the New Orleans Hornets in season 2012. Played at Syracuse University, 67 starts with Syracuse. A good basketball school. They should. Sandy Kunyawan, yes! Kunyawan! You can't leave him open too. CLS has some great local shooters. And now it's a 2.4 game. Just like that, he's done. Yeah, Kunyawan with a second three-point shot. Inside, Anna Egu. Eversley, yes! Chris Eversley answers for the Dragons. They needed that big time just to get them back into rhythm. Over one minute to go. Kunyawan, can he get another? Yes! Back to back three by Sandy Kunyawan, the man from Surabaya, Kampung Jimber. Another three point shot from the shot corner by the CLS Knight. Dragons need to do better job covering that three point shot corner. Oh, that's so close. They got they come in transition. Can they level it up? Esho ties it up. Maxi Esho. It's tied up right here at Mama Stadium with over 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Good pressure know. defense <laughs> by CLS. Another turnover by the Dragons as Chris Eversley trying to leave the Dragons a little bit, trying to stop the damage, the bleeding, but was unable. The Dragons really need to focus now as Sellers Knights nice, able to find their rhythm, especially from the three-point line. Well, like I said, they're blessed with some very good shooters. Herring, and Herring gives CLS the lead. Doug Herring Jr., an early nomination for player of the game. Dragons, what can they set up right here with their offense? They're just taking their time. Shot clock off. Shepard just drive. Eversley with the screen. Shepard. Shepard pulls up. Eversley tried to tip it in, but it will be the CLS Knights. 
who take a slender lead at the end of the third quarter. 63 points to 61, Ms. Lan. A much better quarter by the seller. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Traveling kini tak perlu repot tukar uang ke money changer. Uang saku kuliah kamu di luar negeri tak lagi terpotong ini itu. Kamu bisa mulai tabungan kamu tanpa khawatir kurs naik turun. Dan dengan kurs kompetitif, bisnis kamu akan selalu mendapat nilai tukar terbaik. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Fit me, makan mi, jangan mikir. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Uang saku kuliah kamu di luar negeri tak lagi terpotong ini itu. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi, tanpa drama. Last time these two teams played in Indonesia, it was close. CLS got the victory. Esho drives. From the Dragons. Running weather the storm and some of their players are in foul trouble. Shepard to the cup to tie it up. Good move by Shepard, realizing that Esho was lead on the defense. Straight away to the basket, as you said, Ben. Straight away, attack the basket to the cup for Shepard. Herring, Herring, off balance, Doug Herring off balance, well done. He's just doing everything today, Doug Herring Jr. 13 points, a live wire. Esho with 18 points. Nana, Chris Eversley with 16 points, Nana Edwin with 13, Winston Shepard with 13. Offensive foul by Winston Shepard, and he's got to be very careful there. He's really in foul trouble now. Smart defense there by Kuniawan. As Shepard pick up his fourth personal foul. Shepard needs to be careful. As he is the key offensively for the Dragon so far. Definitely. Shepard hands up. Esho. Oh, good. Good defense again by the Dragons. Dragons slowing it down. Eversley, the corner of balance. Wong asking for the ball. Oh. Turnover right there. Herring, he's been punishing the Dragons. But now on for another three. And Coach Bryant said, just get back. Keep shooting, keep going. Dragons trail by two. Posting up right there to the corner. Wong pulls up, hits the iron. This is where the Dragons are a bit brittle at times in the fourth quarter when they need to make clutch big shots. Oh, what a block by Winston Shepard. Wong drives oh. and falls. Jonathan Wong. Back to the wall, what a defense by Shepard. A good half defense by Winston Shepard that lead to the fast break transition offense by Jonathan Wong. Jonathan was able to fake his way, able to play his face. Three out of five, nine points for Kunia Wan. Dragons just need to put their hands up, play defense. There's a lot of time left in this game. Winston Shepard on foul, in foul trouble. Esho puts it up and CLS back with the lead. Jonathan Wong, he needs to hit some big shots just like he did against Alap last month. Dragons 
need him. Wong. Wong. Uh, well, that's, that's a smart move by Wong. Like I said, yes, drive. Just yes. drive. That was a smart move, knife move. Even though Wonky was dead to deny the shot. But he was playing with the body contact. It was a Derry Walking straight personal fall. Jonathan Wong, 50% free throw shooters. He made his first two free throws attempt. Jonathan Wong, the man who went to school in Singapore. He has aspirations to be an aspiration or ambition to be his very own boss one day as an entrepreneur. He engineers those two shots well. We're tied up here at 67 apiece at Baba Stadium. Over seven minutes to go. A lot of the respective imports from both teams are in foul trouble. Oh, Watkins. They tried. Jonathan Wong, great hustle there. Taking on a much, much bigger athlete. Jonathan Wong right now. Wong. Step back. Hits the eye. Oh, <laughs> the lucky hometown bounce for the deuce. Jonathan Wong is trying to take this game on his own elbow to convert the last four points for the Dragons. Look at this. That looked like a travel call, but it isn't. Oh, that's another <laughs> offensive foul. Is that Watkins' fourth foul? Yes, that it is. Walking fourth foul. Good defense there by Yak. Able to draw the offensive foul. If he's fouled out of this game for CLS. Oh, that's definitely offensive foul. To that is too. as clear cut as you get. I thought Yak flopped just now. <laughs> yeah, I thought there was not much in it, but in my replay time, wow. But you know what? Darrell Watkins, he's a nice guy. Take nothing away from him. I mean, I talked to him always before the game, very friendly chap. He's on the bench right now. So, opportunity for the Dragons to take the lead. They are tied right now with 69 apiece. Well, I'm a bit scared when teams go small because <laughs> they don't forget the CLS team. They're loaded with some pretty good shooters on court at the moment. Let's see if the Dragons can win the storm a bit. Soft touch, Eversley with the rebound. Kick out, Wong, Wong. Does that count? Does it count. That's and it counts. It does, man. <laughs> I thought it's going to be a side from four, yeah. <laughs> but it's not. It's going to be count two point and one opportunity as Jonathan Wong hasn't missed a single free throw, and that is eight straight points for Jonathan Wong. Well, what had, dragons? Yeah. He's had a very good game. He's been a bit frustrated the last couple of weeks for not starting. And he's being deadly at the moment. He didn't start in this game either. No, well, <laughs> he's always saying to me he wants to start, but you know what, that's part of the game. Esho being the facilitator this time. Esho puts it up. Oh, <laughs> what's the call right there? Out of bounds. Good defense actually by Nana Agwu. But then Nana Agwu was jumping from out of the bounds. And the ball will go to CLS Knights. Yeah, Jawato to inbound this ball. Jawato with eight points in this game. He had a pretty good shooting game against Mono Vampire. Five days back. And referee's just checking the ball here at the moment. So there's six minutes left in this game, Ben. 14 seconds shot clock for the CLS Knights as the Dragons are leading with 3 points, 17 to 96. Both teams, or actually the Dragons only has one uh, team fall, whereas the CLS Knights has uh, three team falls. So, oh, there's a bit of altercation right here. The CLS coaching staff better be careful. Coco Nogrojo, one of those assistant coaches for the, the man with the long hair. He's the father of Fermandui Nogrojo. They're number 16 for CLS. 
getting calm. Esho, four to three. Maxi Esho ties it up right here at Mama. What a shot by the big fella, Maxi Esho. Egu with the screen, trying to create some separation. Everly drives to the pin with a deadly look for the two-handed jab. Woo! That was hot. Out of nowhere, have a sleep with the hook. But you cannot sleep on this guy, Maxi Esho, unable to convert that two-point shot. Here comes the Vegas band. Jonathan Wong, high arc and shot. Yes! Jonathan Wong from downtown. Another three-point shot made by Jonathan Wong. I think that's 70 points for Jonathan. Well, let's have a look at the numbers here at the moment. He's got 22 points. Can you believe that? Jonathan Wong. And when he was the player of the game against San Mi San Miguel Alam. Chris Eversley talking to <laughs> Chris Eversley. He's talking to the commentators bench saying, yeah, that's gonna be on replay. That's amazing. He's a funny man, that one. He's got a good good career in stand-up comedy. But nobody's laughing just yet. This game is far from over. Dragon's got a body up. Chawato. Chawato. Herring. Yet yeah, trying to stay on him. Step back. Tan Wei Long. Take their time. The Dragons a little bit. Chris Eversley saying slow down. Let's get an open look. That's what Chris Evans did. I, I know him quite well. He's always telling me about those calm situations. Wong drives. Egu. Oh. Egu. Egu. Egu will go to the line. <laughs> and it's Daryl Watkins fouled out. Oh, Daryl Watkins is fouled out. The oh. big man. What a game. By Jonathan Wong, I gotta say, Jonathan Wong met the right move to pass to Nana Egu. Nana Egu in the first place just couldn't handle the ball, but Apple to keep it together and that sand Dyer Watkins to the bank. Well, it, has, it, happen, it, ha ball. it happens to the best <laughs> of players. Daryl Watkins is a very, very good talent. Take nothing away from him, he's a great player. But you know what? It happens, you know, but it's just one of those things you gotta bounce back and learn. Shepard is not playing because he's already on his first personal fault. So Jonathan Wong has been playing so far in absence of Winston Shepard. As you can see, Winston Shepard is already back in the game now. <laughs> this is tense moments for the Dragons fans because they really, really need a win. It's been a tough, tough run for them. Nana Egu makes two out of two. The Dragons have been superb so far from the Vito lines. Made 12 out of 13. Only one miss Vito's attempt by the Dragons as a team. Got a body up. Indonesia, Jawato. Who does a foul there? Jawato will go to the charity strike. And Brendan Jawato has a very, very interesting basketball story or life story really. University of Hawaii studied family and human resources. And the highlight of his basketball career is hitting seven three-pointers in one half for his college team, the University of Hawaii. Can you believe that? Seven three-pointers before half time. Yeah, you can see how good he is, especially when he's wide open. And then Jawato is one of the key players for Seattle Snatch. As they're trying to close the gap between the, these two teams, Seattle Snipes and the Dragons. My brother used to tell me all the time, if you're going to win championships or a ring, you need to play defense. So who can play? It's not so much about scoring right now. Who can tighten it up? Winston Shepard, Eversley. Winston Shepard. Pass. Walk. Good. Good. 
Hassan there by the Tigers. Winston Shepard, Winston Shepard misses that. Couldn't quite finish. Here comes Herring. Herring! Oh, well done, Herring. No foul. Three-point ball game. It's going to be a tight finish. Lots of time left in this one. I sound like a broken record, Ben, but Vegas need to focus, especially on the defense. But then, here you see the Winston Shepard aggressively attacking the cup. That's, well, that's what he needs to do. He's bigger and stronger than most of his opponents. So if he can keep doing that, then he'll be okay. And just like be very, very careful when he plays defense because he's on four fouls at the moment. Yeah, Wayla, another veteran move there, able to absorb the contact, draw the fall, wrong way long, a little bit quiet in this game as he only scored seven points for the CLS Knights. Bunia one, Dragon need to tighten up. CLS need a big shot. Big moments right here. Nana Egu trying to stay with Esho. Esho quite strong, athletic. Oh, that's going to be two points for Esho. And an opportunity to add another point. As Chris Aversley reach in for the steal, but he got caught in the cookie jar. <laughs> you are quite the musician. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? I thought that you were going to sing that. <laughs> oh, man. So, Coach Brian protesting. <laughs> Why is protesting about? I mean, his team, Asia got a call, two points and one free throws. I don't know why he's keep, keep complaining about it. He needs to be careful not giving the Dragons any advantage uh, with any technical call or whatever. Well, a big shout out for Maxi Esho's brother, Larry Esho. Oh, I thought there was an out ball as Shepard. Inbound the ball, he was lucky that Shepard. CLS trying to tighten up. And watch that clock with defense. Egu. Egu. Egu drives. Couldn't finish right there. Those are the moments that might come back and haunt you. Can CLS tie, tie this up as they have many times in this game? Way long with the screen. Kick out. Herring. Wong. Drives. Puts it up, Dragons ball. Dragons just want to slow it down a little bit, set something up right here to get a basket to give them a bit of breathing space down the stretch. We are officially down the stretch, two minutes. No daggers coming out just yet. Crossover, needs some separation. Drives, Winston Shepard gets the hoop and the harm. The cool move, smart move by Shepard controlling the ball not trying to make any fancy move, getting that easy, high percentage shot as he was able to take that, absorb the contact. Two points for Winston Shepard and another free throw attempt. As I said earlier on, the Dragons has been superb so far from the free throw lines. Well, Winston Shepard, it was the play of the game against I love this. I love this season again. Oh, yeah, that's a fight because he played against his model, Shall I say, Herring? Doug Herring will go to the charity strike. <laughs> and if there's one man you don't want to send to the charity strike, it's Doug Herring. But good challenge there by Eversley, not giving any space for. Douglas Herring, an easy two-point shot. And Doug Herring, who played for London Lightning in Canada and won the championship twice, he's got some experience. <laughs> it's uh, two free throws for Herring, a 75 percentage free throw shooter. Doug Herring, he's got the psychological tactics in place. <laughs> Is he Shepard? Well, he, he doesn't want to <laughs> annoy the referee because the referee might tee him up for time wasting. But they're checking the ball. It's 
Good tactic here by Doug Herring, just to get some, buy some more time and have a bit more time to think about it in terms of what kind of offense they want to run and how they want to tighten up on the defense. Crowd trying to put him off. Dragons just need to hit back straight away. There's a lot of time left in this one. It's super, super tight. The Shepard. Pull up right here. Eversley, ooh, no, he had the ball. Long way long. Dragons need to stop. Herring. No continuation, says the referee. Winston Shepard. Winston Shepard. Offensive foul. Unfortunate for Winston Shepard. Got cut here, you see. Long way long. Better moves, smart moves, club. A little bit, I would say, as he was able to draw the offensive points. Winston Shepard extended his left arm. Both teams are on for trouble already over the limit, and there's only one time of left for each team. So let's see how this end, the game ends for both teams. Ooh. Winston Shepard. Because they're missing Winston Shepard there. Maxi Esho, he can tie it up here, Maxi Esho. Crowd in stunned at the moment. Don't forget the Dragons almost had an eight point lead. At one point, late in the third, but full credit to CLS for making a comeback. These two teams quite even. Maxi Esho, he doesn't really miss much. Five out of six for Maxi Esho from the peaceful line in this game so far. The UMass grad, he studied political science and Afro-American studies. Oh, that's interesting. Very rarely does he miss, but it's still a lot of time left in this one. One minute to go. It is so tight, you don't know. Jonathan Wong. Jonathan Wong, what can he come up with? Chris Eversley. Oh, Chris Eversley will go to the charity stripe. Smart move by Jonathan Wong. Very patient on the ball movement. Trying to find the open man. Chris Eversley was open. Very smart for Chris to drive to the basket, attack the basket, and get that two free throws. Seriously, 70%. Just needs to make one shot. Ooh. He just needs to make one shot. Jamie Perlman signaling to Jonathan Wong to be ready. Chin Cheng Wa now on court. Chris Seriously makes one. Dragons need a stop right here. And CLS just trying to stop the clock, but the clock's going right now. We have over 50 seconds to go. Need to tighten up. Herring. Herring. Herring ties it up. And who can take the big shot right here for the Dragons? Jonathan Wong and Wong Wei Long, the two former teammates. Get going, says Coach Jamie Bowman. Chris Eversley asking for it. Chris Eversley. Yes! Chris Eversley, the big shot right there. What a shot by Chris Eversley. And then once again, Jonathan Wong, very patient, very smart, finding the right man, finding the right play, as he was able to find Chris Eversley on that shot. Hang on to your horses, everybody. Chin Cheng Hua. Oh! Chris Eversley with a steal. Throw and get the basket and one. Chris Eversley with a pivotal steal right here. What a defense by Chris Eversley. Able to win the pass. And it's not going to be a sportsman like ball. It's just going to be a regular fall. An easy layout for Chris. Chris will be able to ice this game. One free throw. He missed that free throw. But still a five points lead for the Dragons. Way long, puts it up. The Dragons have got it. 
They've just got to hang on to it. The Dragons will win this game. The West Coast Malaysia Dragons end their losing streak. They are finally winners after breaking the streak. What a game, Mislan. I'm just going to go over to the interview area, talk our audience through the game. Dragons finally able to end their sixth game a losing streak with the win as Chris Eversley able to ice the game. Chris with 24 points to lead the West Coast of Malaysia Dragons as Maxi Edu 27 points for the CLS Knights. What a game for both teams as they battle. Yeah, another slam dunk by Chris Eversley and it sees to Jonathan Wall. What a game by the Dragons, especially playing in this third game against the CLS Knights as we wait for Ben with an interview player of the game. You can see all the highlights. Harry trying to leave. The CLS Knights for a combat Dragons has been leading most part of the game. But CLS Knights every single time able to get the answer. They want the last shot made by Chris Eversley. The final score for the Dragons 89, 84 CLS Knights. Dragons still on the eighth place, able to get their sixth win. The next game for the Dragons he is the man of the. is where it all begins. The leap of faith. The first step to the journey. Towards the unknown. The challenging. The daunting. But when we're together. Hand in hand. The journey becomes exciting. We're partners, you and I, together, facing your fears, pursuing your passion, breaking boundaries, building your future, overcoming challenges, celebrating every achievement. When we're together, we're unstoppable. When we're together, anything is possible. At BTN, we know the power of partnership. A good partner works with you intimately. A good partner knows what you need. A good partner always has your back. A partner for starting your dream family, building your dream home, realizing the dream. It takes courage to begin, but it takes encouragement to keep on going. So go on, dream big. We're with you every step of the way. You have a partner in BTN.